Okay, great morning. It is Wednesday. <coughs> Wednesday. January 30th. Okay. Had to look and see there. I lose track of the dates. Anyway, let's pull out the cards and do a reading this morning. What's up? Energy of the day. For those that, you know, keep wanting to give me the big brouhaha and fear mode and fear mongering and, uh, you know, oh my God, don't stay at a truck stop. You know, the, it's just, you know, stop already, okay? I'm just going to tell you like that, stop. Okay. For God's sakes, I used to drive trucks. I used to drive semis for a living. Okay. You think I go out here and pal around with these guys? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not out here climbing in their trucks. I'm not out here socializing with them. So stop already, okay? I'm always aware of my surroundings. What's there? Who's there? You know, so, you know, if you guys want to live your life in fear, be my guest. That's, that's up to you. That's, you know, on you. You can live your life in fear all you want to and never do anything. Okay? But there are bad guys everywhere. Okay? Not just here. And this is like any segment of society. There are some good guys and there are some not good guys. Okay? There are coyotes, uh, here and there are coyotes uh, in other places, okay? So you need to be aware wherever you're at, okay? And not be stupid, but don't sit there and make one place to be 10 times worse than another place, okay? Okay, so today we have <clears throat> Taming the Wind. Okay. That means, you know, going out, challenging, challenging yourself and challenging, you know, what's out there. Taming the Wind. Revolution. You know, it's time to sometimes get off your duff. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. Isn't it time to let go of some of the fears that drive you? Okay, time to let go. Don't sit there and get yourselves wound up about, you know, every little thing. You know, you're in this idea that, oh my God, a truck stop is so worse than anywhere else. Have you seen the videos where the guy is looking at some girl, she's shopping in, in a mall, and they follow her and kidnap her? So you're gonna stop going to a mall? Oh no, this is a truck stop, this is, this is worse. Oh my God, it's, it's horrible, it's, it's the worst. <laughs> no. It's bad for lot lizards. You know what a lot lizard is? It's a girl that's out prostituting herself. Or for stupid little kids that are looking for rides from truck drivers. You know, but it, this is not any worse than any other segment of society. So don't put those fears and those dramas out there. For God's sakes, take a breath. Take a breath, 
okay? So again, time to let go. Let go of some of your, you know, long-held beliefs and dramas that hold you back, okay? This is not to say, again, being stupid, being like the Pollyanna, you know, wandering, trusting everybody, and everybody's beautiful. Well, everybody's not as beautiful. Like I said yesterday, there are some coyotes out there, so you'll always be aware. But being aware doesn't mean being freaked out and, oh, my God, and i got to watch everything. Oh, my God, maybe somebody's going, oh, you know. If you live your life like that, you're not living life. Okay, you're not living life if that's the mode you're going to be in. Okay, so time to let go. What is it you've been dragging around that you need to let go of that's hindering and stopping you from doing things you wanted to do? What is it you need to let go of? Okay, revolution. If things are going to change, there needs to be some sort of revolution, some change put in the mix. Okay? What's your personal revolution about? I'm not talking about a revolution of a government. That's a more extreme version, okay, when people you know, have an uprising and a revolution. You make some revolution in your own life of changing things, taming the wind. Get out there. Get out there and find out what is there, okay? The only way you're going to tame the wind is if you challenge things and you find out what's there versus your ideology about it, okay? So be willing to stand up, make that revolution in your life, let go of some long-held belief systems and and dramas that you have that fuel your fears, time to challenge that, okay? And you'll find you'll be a much happier person. Because if you stay in those kind of belief systems, you stymie yourself from doing anything, okay? Oh my God, I can't go there. And then, you know, you, you let your guard down in a place that you think is safe, where it's not any safer than the place that you want to see the boogeyman by every truck. Okay. <laughs> and somebody said, oh, if I had a CB, if I had a CB, I wouldn't stay at a truck. You think I don't know what they say? Like I said, I used to drive trucks. You think that they've changed in 20 years? Yeah, they got foul language. And if that's going to bother you, then don't be there. But I can tell you, again, there are some good guys out there, too. Now, when I was driving, I drove with a partner. We'd pick up, uh, we'd pick up uh, lettuce produce. I'd start out of Starnes. I drove from Starnes out of Whittier, California. We'd pick up produce. We'd drive all the way cross country, drop it off at the Canadian border. Somebody from Canada would meet us there. They would take it on into Canada. We'd pick up an empty trailer. We'd go to Trenton, New Jersey, pick up steel cable and haul it back. Now, I was driving back when a lot of women weren't driving. Okay. So I got a lot of shit. When I was in the military, I got a lot of shit. When you drove, you know, you're breaking new barriers, you get a lot of shit too. But the guy that I worked with, my partner, one of us was driving, the other one was sleeping. Okay. We got to the steel place in Trenton, New Jersey, and they said, you can't bring your girlfriend in with you. No girlfriends allowed. He says, she's not a girlfriend. She's the other driver. So then they started another tactic. They said, well, only one driver can go in and pick it up. She needs to stay here. So he jumped out of the truck and said, she goes in to pick up the load or the load doesn't get moved. Okay. So there are good guys that are truckers as well. <clears throat> and then there are jerks like any other segment of society. There are a lot of jerks out there as well. <clears throat> so 
no matter where you're at, you have to look and divide out the jerks from the stand-up people. Okay, that's all. <clears throat> I went in last night. They had a Taco Bell here. I had a taco. There's a driver sitting there, and we talked about Trump. They had CNN on, okay? They had CNN on, <clears throat> and we were talking about what an ass and a jerk he is, okay? So again, you know, when I leave and I go to walk, I make sure that there's nobody out around my van, okay? I'm not stupid. I'm ex-military, okay? I'm an ex-truck driver. I know the lay of the land. I'm not some old woman that's been, you know, lit you know, I've lived alone. for a lot of years. I don't have some man here protecting me and now I'm out on my own. That's never been the case, okay? <clears throat> I've been on my own for 30, 40 years. Okay. So again, you know, don't get this wrong ideation that I am some poor little frail thing out here that I'm so stupid, I don't know, you know, where I'm at or what I'm doing or how dangerous it can be out there, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Trust me, I do know. So anyway, if you're going to be fear-mongering, do it elsewhere. I understand you guys want my safety. That's well and good. Thank you for that. But don't be out there and be fear mongers, okay? That's all I've got to say, okay? <laughs> it's not doing you any good, you know? And, you know, please live your lives in a, in a happier way, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to leave this here for now. And get on with the rest of the day. I'm look at see what uh, readings people were asking for. Oh, somebody was asking for a reading on that uh, black actor that got attacked because he's gay. You know, a hate crime is a hate crime. You want a name. I, you know, tarot cards are not going to give you a name of the person that did this. Why do people keep asking me for stuff like that? I want a name. I want a date. I want to know their psychology. I want to know exactly why they did it. Who did it? Why did they do it? You know, it, it doesn't work that way. Okay? It doesn't work that way. This is Tarot cards are not a crystal ball. Okay? <laughs> it's not going to give me an all vision seeing of what happened. Okay, it doesn't work that way. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here and look and see what else we've got in the comments for the day. Okay, and people just, you know, take a breath, take a breather, and see what it is you need to get rid of in your life that drives your fears. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. Have a great day, everyone. See you online. Aho.